wire, see? Prime Minister William Lyon Mackenzie King declared his support for prohibition last week. Sheesh! Talk about a boring Prime Minister. He makes Sir Charles Tupper look like Charlie Chaplin. This just came in off the trolley. Dames, they want the vote. Well, the only vote they get in my house is chicken or beef. Finance Minister William Stevens Fielding was caught yesterday in a coloured dance hall in Toronto. Canadians are outraged. Partially because of the inappropriate surroundings, but mainly because Fielding was unable to do a proper Charleston. And now for some insight on the latest trend in women's fashion. Here's our own Gerald Hall. All right, ladies, I get it. You want to prove that you're strong and independent, and it's cute that you think that. But these short dresses have got to stop. If these hemlines get any higher, they're going to run into Charles Lindbergh. It's the Roaring Twenties, not the Whoring Twenties. How can you expect the men to keep focused when flappers are throwing their thighs around like they're half pennies? Maybe I'm old-fashioned, but I appreciate a dame who wears her modesty on her sleeves. Now it's hard enough to find a lady with sleeves, let alone modesty. Take it from me, girls. If you keep this up, you will never find a husband. And if you don't have a husband, what do you have? Nothing. Excellent point, Gerald. I'll never let my girl go outside in those clothes. And when I'm telling her how to live her life, I like to smoke Thompson's Tobacco, the finest smokable tobacco in the country. Not to mention the smoothest, richest chewing tobacco money can buy. <laughs>